Etsy. So I've got one today to do a hashtag. And this one is by Nina over at Shuffle Tamil. And it's called hashtag isolation station decks. And this hashtag is all about the decks that you find that you're pulling during this time of isolation that most of us are under. Um, and has it been a surprise to you the kind of style is it one sort of type that you're pulling are you sticking to one deck are you choosing many decks to work with um but if it's affecting the way that you are pulling the decks that you have um at this time so i thought that was quite interesting because i had noticed with myself that um there has been um a bit of a difference i mean i've always um kind of worked with a few decks at once I've never been able to stick to one I'm a bit of a nightmare like that um, and that's why I have such a large selection of cards um, but I do find that this last few weeks I've been pulling loads and I mean loads I've not put them all out because there's just too many to show you I'd be here all day um, but one thing that I have noticed in common is that they're all nature or mainly nature kind decks the latest one is this one because it's a new one um, I won't show you too much of these cards, I'll be here all day. But this is the Tree Angel Oracle deck by um, The Ancient Path into the Sacred Grove by Fred Haganida, Haganida and Anne Heng Arbor. Um But yeah, so this is an, a pretty new deck, so I've just been getting used to this. And it's a lovely deck. Um, that's the backs of them. Very tree orientated and talks about um the voice of the trees that kind of thing um so another one i've noticed again like i say it tends to be trees and nature so this is another one i'm pulling out this is the wisdom of the tree oracle by james struthers again i won't show you loads just the backs gorgeous backs i've had this deck a while um but i do find this is a, a really nice deck and I've noticed that I'm pulling a lot of oracles as well. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. That one is the Wisdom of the Trees Oracle. Inspirational cards for wisdom and guidance. And another one. The Celtic Tree Oracle. See what I mean? They've all got this theme of um, trees. Um, here's the bags. And again, this is another lovely lovely oracle. This one is by Shalin Hidalgo. Yeah, so whether it's because we can't get out in outside too much at the minute um, and you know that we're stuck indoors so much um, that I'm drawn to a lot of these ones for that reason to bring the outdoors in sort of thing. I mean my house is full of plants anyway and I'm still adding to them because of um, I just need to have that need to have them in the house as well. So this one's the Magical Herb Oracle um, by Sherilyn Darcy. Here's the bags. I bought this one a few months ago and I love working with this. This is all about the herbs and plants and what have you. And um, it's got a good little guidebook what comes with this. Lovely cardstock and um, yeah. That's one that I'm enjoying working and I've been finding that I've been pulling that a lot as well. Um, and then the next oracle is by Philip and Stephanie Cagdon and it's the Druid Plant Oracle. I do have the animal one as well, as well as the Druid Craft. Um, but it's um, the plant one that I've been pulling. I'll get them all out. There's the bag and kind of the images that you get with this. Again, it's herbs and plants and what have you. So I'd like to say, as you can see, there is a bit of a theme. I am pulling a lot of plant and um, tree decks, and I'm also pulling a lot of my plant and tree books as well um, to look at and to try and sort of work with. So. Tarot wise, again, um, sticking to the nature theme really. I mean, I've always worked with fade decks anyway, but I'm finding that that's all I've really worked working with um, more than anything at the minute. This one is the John Bauer Tarot, um, it's the back. 
and it, like I say, it just seems to be the thing since we've been in isolation that I'm, I'm trying to connect to the outdoor, outdoors with um, the trees and the plants and also the, the fae and the fairy and <clears throat> whether that's to um, kind of escape world away from what the reality is, I don't know, but I mean, I've always had my fae decks anyway, so it's no surprise that um, I am pulling them, but that's about the most, you know, what I'm mainly pulling every time this, these last few weeks. And of course, my Tower of the Hidden Realms, I pull this all the time anyway, so it's no surprise there, but um, <clears throat> It's one of those times that I do need a bit of a hug deck and this one is one of my hug decks. So it's no surprise I'm pulling this one. And the fact that it's the fairy and the fae, you know, it's not surprising. So that one's not really surprising to me. Um, I think it's mainly the, the fact that all the oracles I seem to probably be pulling are nature based as well. And then this one is more of an escape. But again, it's, it has that fae feeling and I'm loving this deck at the minute. And it is the um, Shadowscapes. I had this sitting on my shelf for so long and I never used it. I didn't really even look at it until a couple of weeks back, three weeks back. I think it was the beginning of all this trouble that we're having now in the world as a whole. And I've just get myself absorbed into these images and this deck. So I'm loving this deck. Yeah, so that's the Shadowscape. So they're the main ones that I've been working with for the last few weeks and the only ones that I seem to, to be working with. Though um, I must admit, um, as my last video said, um, I was kindly gifted the Dark Mansions and I have been using that the last couple of days and that's a gorgeous deck too. Now the other thing what has kind of surprised me because I've never ever had any interest really in it is that become fascinated with the King Arthur stories and I bought the Arthurian Tarot a couple of weeks ago um, I did a walkthrough of this one so I'm not going to show it all again but um, I'm really when my eyes allow me to at the minute I'm really enjoying reading and pulling cards from this deck and getting to know it um, but I've never ever had an interest in Arthur and the Round Table or nothing or any of that kind. I mean, I have the Llewellyn Tarot um, and it's a lovely tarot, um, but it's never, you know, it's never really called to me, but all of a sudden, you know, the last few weeks, it's really been calling to me. And I also bought this one, uh, I think this was, I bought this before the tarot, um, the Mist of Avalon Oracle. So I've been called to use that a lot as well. And it is a gorgeous oracle. There's the backs. And this again is all to do with the um, Avalon, you know, the myth of Avalon and King Arthur and all this mythology. And I'm really enjoying it. But again, I, I'm really surprised because it's not something that's ever called to me before. This deck is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so I'm finding that I'm kind of immersing myself into this as well, which, like I say, just took me a bit of a surprise, really, because it's never really something that has called out to me before. Um, and finally, the last thing that I've been doing um, is in, in, in a lot of past life stuff. Um, I've really been digging deep into a lot of past life stuff. That's something that's always interested me, but that has kind of gone off year as well. So it seems to be that I'm sort of pull to everything what takes me into either a fantasy land or brings the nature back into my life um, on a daily basis. That seems to be the, the, the route that I've gone with this isolation period. And um, like I said, I'm not tending to stick to one deck as much as I just need to be pulling from many. Um, behind me where I'll stand my cards in the day, there's four cards stand, stand on there most days because I can't choose from one or two, so there's four. Um, to give you an idea, I just seem to be needing to pull from lots of different ones, but they're all nature-based, fae-based, escapism, um, anything but deal with what's going on, I suppose, but that's how I'm dealing with it. And um, it's given me a chance to reconnect with a lot of my decks that I haven't used for a while. 
So, um, yes, yeah, so that's what I've been using. Um, well, mainly what I've been using. There's been others. Um, all on the same kind of um, thing. Uh, but some of them, it doesn't really surprise me. And, but the interest all of a sudden in the King Arthur and the Avalon, and that, that has really quite took me by surprise. And um, I'm enjoying do, digging deeper into that. So um, thanks for the, t um, the hashtag Nina. It was really made me think um, what I've been using and what have you. And for, you know, reasons probably why I have. Um, but yeah, it was been a fun tag and I do love to do tags. So I thought I'd pop on and do this one. So thanks for listening and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.